So I use all the power in the gimbal and the sun set as you see so I'm gonna just get the best shots I can we left Karnak Temple where I met my brother Manish from Canada and now I'm at Luxor Temple and look at this even in the dark it's incredible man Get a little closer though, I'll show y'all. Man, when you get up close on them, these things are huge. It's the king in the middle, you couldn't see before. Especially this obelisk, man. It's probably the biggest one I've seen so far. Way bigger than the ones of Karnak, I think. And for whatever reason, faces on these are not as damaged. Especially like that one. That one, they knocked his face off. But these two on the end. Let me go in and see what else we got. I'm not going to get out of this. Some of this you really just going to have to come for yourself. But sometimes it's hard for me to just ignore it, man. Like, I really want y'all to see this. That's the detail of it. Uh, what they wasn't able to destroy anywhere. These are the main ones that made me record this part, though. Look at the hell, man. They got locks or braids. Keep saying I'm done, but you know, I can't really help it. Since I'm in downtown Cairo, I thought it was gonna be playing everywhere though. I 
I guess I assume wrong, because I figured, you know, it's an Arabic country. It's probably allowed all over the place, but I guess not. They say they gotta make their money in the business spots. They ain't trying to hear that. Some Look at her, the braids. How much money y'all be paying them Africans to do y'all hair like that? Shorty got microbes. <laughs> 3,000 year old microbes. Temple. It looked like it's too much to see, man, with the time I got. I got an hour and a half before they close, but it's like everywhere you look, there's more to see. It ain't just a straight line. We got the big statues outside the entrance, and then all of the pillars got inscriptions and carvings all around them. Inside the room, all of that. Gang of people up in here. Yeah. See another afro. Everybody <laughs> got afros. Afros and braids everywhere. This is on the throne in one of the big spots. This is the other throne. My man right here. Oh, this is I don't know what they doing, what kind of tool is that? Are they playing an instrument? Or? We have two little fetus. Best carriage, six, five months, you know, mommy five months. You may have seen this one on the history channel. Be, you know, half month with that. In Egypt, you see some like a man, he got married, and his children got married when they still at the age of 25. Man, I really just keep tripping off of how grand everything is. It's this large of a scale. And this is the ruins. Like, this is just what survived after thousands of years. But walking through the columns. Like, I know that was incredible when this was in its prime, man. At the height of Egypt, because it's incredible now.
hay tres barcos sagrados originales de la All over the world here, man. I done met Mexicans, Colombians, some Japanese people here. My homie, uh, my niece from Canada. Damn, I wish I was here in the daytime. Sunlight to see this, man. Real colorful up at the top. Gotta come back. And then I done ran into a decent amount of Americans, not a whole lot, but a buddy from Jersey, I just met him and his girl. Mostly, you know, people from other countries, man, Europeans, a couple Africans too, mostly from Sudan, though. Out here to work. And then I guess they working on preserving this, the scaffolding. You know? I see the colors up there. It's funny how the colors at the top stay pretty good. Pretty well preserved. Some brown there, and then two ways. This light they put out here ain't doing it justice, man. I need some real sunlight to get the full effect. You know what I just realized? It's almost like, cause when you go into this temple, this is only my second temple. But it's face after face after face after face. And it almost to make you wonder like why would you just draw so many? I mean of course we're gonna talk about the important people. But it's workers, employees. Yeah, okay. Is this the offering scenes? Okay, which we'll be talking about offering. I told you that we're going to find all the type of offering meats, buffaloes, fruit, vegetables, grains, drinks, fruits, fruits, rice, everything you have mentioned. All tied up again. And this is another one. One cup, two cups of water. That's the numbers, Egyptian numbers. For this schedule, we were telling us how many, how many kinds of the offering we can do. And that's the king, Amunhat the third, when he's making the offering for a ram-headed. Ram is a god of the got loud, I don't know if you can hear me, but I think they made carving after carving, statue after statue, literally from the floor to the ceiling where you almost can't even see it. And people definitely can't reach because there's no way to erase or deface all of this. They did their best, but it was impossible to them to hurt every nose and every black face they saw on the wall.
So shout out to my ancestors, man. The Egyptians was thorough. Me and my niece was just talking about this. This look like two men to me holding hands. I guess that's that Western idea, man. We think it's gay. If you go to other countries, especially what I've seen in Africa, and I believe he said in India, you will see guys walking down the street, holding hands, arm in arm, like we usually used to men and women doing in America, or even like holding pinkies. I ain't used to it, but I see it ain't, it must not be, you know, weird to them. I gotta show y'all this. I don't really like this. It looked like they drew in. Cause I saw one earlier. Like this don't look like it was carved into the stone. You see they drawing in the rest of it. That's kind of whack, man. Just leave what was left. I understand you want to paint the full picture, but these little scribblings don't really do the carvings justice. You feel me? I keep seeing. It looked like monkeys. Some of them was walking behind the princes and stuff. I don't know why this lady is hugging the golem. <laughs> white people acting kind of weird out here, man. They go with the dramas again, too. See the city right outside. Yes, they are praying. I don't know, but they're freaking me out a little bit. Man, I'm really just tripping off the size of these things. Like, this is huge. This would be hard for somebody to make today. Look how big and wide and thick this column is, man. And then perfectly cylindrical all the way to the top outside of the damage and then look how smooth like the line the wall and this is just one it's one two three four five six seven on each side and this is just one little entryway man it's crazy I'm trying to figure out is this him executing people you don't see the whole thing it's cut off at like his shoulder but as you can see that's his arm the hand and the hand is like a long blade almost like a sword or a machete and then I was like what is this is this meat or something he cutting but then we go down here these are legs and feet so you go up they bent over. So is this an execution or something? That's what it looked like. Now that it ain't as many people, I'm tripping off. It's two thrones. You see, one is higher than the other one. And they shot off two of the faces. They tried to shoot my man right here. They completely shot. I guess this was the queen. Her whole body gone. And then on the higher throne, I guess this was the king or the pharaoh because he got the, uh, I see the little crown or whatever on the side on his chest. But look at the survivor, man. Even without the nose. Hmm, look like some brothers I know on Stony Island. Uh, this might be the last one for real, for real.
I just want to show y'all this again because uh, again, it's a little emptier, like close to closing. But I want y'all to check out Miss Lady Braves. Yeah, you can't, you know, they knock the faces off of these, but I really want y'all to just see the detail of the, look at that, man. Not only the precision, but think how long that took for each line. And they all symmetrical. And that's just one. Ooh, that's a good one right here. It's probably one of the most complete ones. The lines. So one more time, I want you to do that. Uh, because every time, whenever I tell people in Egypt, I'm from Chicago, I get the same reaction every time. Yeah. yeah I'm out Jersey. Oh, straight up. So Jersey the same in Chicago, yeah. man. But look, look what he did. When I say Chicago, what did you do? <laughs> no, sir. Do it again. Do it, do it again. He don't want to do it now. He was like, oh, Chicago, <laughs> everybody, yeah, look at him. <laughs> everybody in Egypt says that, man. It's crazy, but there's some good people in Chicago, too, man. Just like Jersey, Jersey, Jersey wild, too. I ain't been to Jersey yet. Uh, just like four days now. How long are you here? Uh, we got here on Tuesday. Yeah. yeah last Tuesday. We okay. Yeah. Till tomorrow for the hot air balloon ride. All right. We're going back to Cairo. And then we're going to Alexandria. That's, that's where y'all hotel in Cairo? Yeah. yeah, mine too. Like downtown? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm downtown. I'm in a little cheap joint though. Yeah, no, we're staying at, um, where we're staying at? Is it the Hills? No, no, I ain't Ritz Carlton. <laughs> all right, all right, you sound like me then. When you go back to Cairo? Uh, maybe the, probably tomorrow. Yeah. yeah, see, I'm my group is in the Ramsey's Hilton in the nice joint. Oh, yeah. But I'm like maybe like half a mile away, man, like 30 bucks Wait, a night. Where's our place at? Where are we staying? Something Palace. Um, no, I'm not talking about the Nile Palace. I'm talking about the Nile Palace. Mighty Stars. Mighty Star Towers. Mighty Star. Yeah. Y'all like it? Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. It's not a hotel. It's not a hotel. It's like an Airbnb. Ah, okay. Yeah, so but as yeah, 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 long as it's comfortable, yeah, you know. Yeah. yeah. For sure. You well, I, I like it out here. All right. Yeah, 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 me too, man. Yeah, I mean, gotta enjoy it. This your first time in Africa? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I've been right. to Thailand, Australia. Okay. So you get around. This is my fifth time. Right, right. No, that's dope, man. I've been to uh outside of Africa, I've been to like just France, Amsterdam, yeah. like the Bahamas, Jamaica. Oh, Amsterdam. Amsterdam was lit. Yeah. Way better than France in my opinion. Cause really I was there to go to France to meet this girl I was talking to. Yeah. Go see her country, but uh, no, it was cool. But Amsterdam just killing it, man. And I was only there for a day, yeah. I was in France for a week. And I'm like, I'd rather go back to Amsterdam. Man, it's like one in the morning. What the hell are they doing?
these niggas out here partying in the street. I'm trying to sleep, goddamn. 